Hello boys and girls, I'm on the roof of my parents house, actually I'm living in that house. The reason why I'm here is because I'm watching the neighbor having a barbecue. You know what guys, my phone has been at service, so now it's working again. The sound is, it's recording the sound, that was the problem because earlier the phone did not recording the sound. But now you got sound, new phone, so now you're gonna make video log. Yon is also here today, Yon. Hey. Uh, we are preparing. We are preparing to go to Monza. We are cleaning the sprinter right now. This is how we are cleaning the car inside. <laughs> the easy way. <laughs> Seven, look at these virtual people. <laughs> Security. <laughs> I like the dog you guys brought. <laughs> it's uh, Tuesday evening. We are done with a uh, nine kilometer run actually. Mm. That's because you was tired today. You didn't want to run further on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Was it yeah. going to Bergenson? <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah, entire new boy. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why was it going to Bergen. It's mm. because in Bergen it's a clinic where Andreas Bakru normally is. What color is that? A hypochondr. Hypochondr <laughs> clinic. It's a hypochondr clinic there. <laughs> because every day, every time we're in, oh, problems with my leg, I'm cold, it's that, blah, blah, blah. Every time. That's him. That's you. Yeah, that's me, that's him. <laughs> Good luck in Bergen. He's going to Bergen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell us what we did? I closed the door. You closed the door? Yeah, we are here. Great, we are here on the Tidalse from my parents' house. Because we are building up this one. And my father closed the door. <laughs> and as you can see, you can only open it from the inside. And my mom is at work. My brother is in Kongsberg. <laughs> Great. What to do now? We actually have to call for help. <laughs> it's Thursday morning and today I'm leaving to Germany actually. Later today I'm gonna to take the ferry from Oslo to Kiel. But now I'm going to the um, Beatles, you know? With this BMW, I showed you on the earlier vlogs. This BMW, we had some problem with it. But now it's good to go and I go up to the mission today to show the car to the Beatles, you know? And uh, hopefully then everything is good. I'm back home. Hey, I'm actually going to show you my home now. This is where I sleep. That's the normal sleeping room, actually. That's my bathroom. Now I'm pausing here. This is my living room. Inside there is my kitchen. Nice, or everything for motorsport, or yeah, everything for motorsport. Now we're gonna go go downstairs into the car, fire it up, and go to Germany. So you know. I don't remember if I told you guys, but the reason why we are going to Germany now is because we're gonna race now at Monza, 12 and 13 of October. Today is the third, so I'm going down there to prepare my car. And I'm really looking forward for it. It's been three months without any racing now. That's shit. At the ferry. Again, big thanks to Colorland Cargo for a really special price. That's the ship, time to drive on board. And it's so nice to be finally on the way. I've been waiting for this now three months. Finally now we go back to Germany to prepare the car and we go to Monza. It's gonna be good. In my cabin. Hello. 15 tons. 45 seconds. 15 seconds break. 20 of those. Oh. I'm done and it was really good actually. Feeling fit. Back down to the car. Soon ready for drive off. It's now 10 o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, and from here to Colonel Motorsport is like three and a half, four hour drive. Depends on the traffic. Actually, if it's a lot of traffic, it's six, seven hours. Hopefully, it's not a lot of traffic. Great weather in Germany today. I am back. Look what we got here. Hello, my sprinter and trailer. How have you guys been doing while I've been in Norway working? Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. I'm actually alone here now because all the other guys. They are testing, they are coming tonight and some of the guys are coming on Sunday. Here she is. Three months I was away from her. Hey, how are you doing, eh? Then is it only one thing to do? Open a few packages here and then straight away start prepare her. So inside this one we have some cool stuff from me. Actually some stuff to my go-kart driving. It's uh, shoes here for when you want to drive go-kart in the rain. Rain glows. Rib protect, or what is it called? This rib is rib, eh? 
Actually, I should have been driving go-kart till now, but the problem is when I was in Oslo running the toughest in Holmekolven. When we did warming up before the race, I fall down from one of the obstacles and I hit my rib real bad. I broke it totally. And I was actually running the race with a broken rib when I finished P40 out of 5000. I didn't cry about it then because I didn't want to, yeah, blah 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 about it, but it had been a real problem this one. Now it's good, but I can for sure not drive go-kart. But this is uh, really cool. Guys, look at this one. New suit for go-kart use only with uh, the latest sponsors on. And we choose to have red hair instead of black because I have a Tony cart with green, white and red. This one is... Uh... <laughs> Tell me, what do you guys think of this suit? Here we have the back. Look at this embroidery, look at the quality of this one. Amazing. Really good actually, I'm proud to have me as a partner. So I guess we can say that when I come back home, I'm prepared to go go-karting. This... Höst. I don't know what's hosted in English. Not spring for sure. Saturday morning. Now I got out to Hagenlykke because Peter, I guess he's there cleaning the workshop. He always is on some Saturdays. I'm gonna pick up a lot of Volkswagen parts I ordered from them. And I'm gonna deliver him some ketchup. And out to Hagenlykke, that's only three minutes from the workshop. Right then, let's see if we can find Peter. <laughs> Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good, Good morning, we get. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. <laughs> Oktoberfest heute. Jetzt deine Anprobe. <laughs> Anprobe? <Das> Hemd. Anprobe. <laughs> Schurte. So, jetzt come on. Hi. Oh. 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 Ist das genug Ketchup, bitte? So, das ist für McDonalds für Jahre. <laughs> <laughs> für McDonalds in one year. <laughs> Peter likes ketchup, or the daughter likes ketchup. I think I have enough, I think it's 30 bottles. <laughs> I just got a shirt from Peter because we are going to October party this day. October fest. I freue mich. Peter, why is this not fitting you anymore? Why don't pass things, man? It's too old. It's too old. It's too more modern. <laughs> All these parts is for the Volkswagen Caddy I showed you guys, you know? Coming actually more parts the next days. Here we have my splitter. I don't know if you guys remember, but this I was repairing the day before I left back home last time. So now I'm just gonna sand this down and we're gonna paint a new layer with, with matte clear coat and it's good to go. And the splitter is done sanded and the masking is ready and the paint is on. It's on. Where are, nice. <laughs> where are we now? <laughs> where are we now? <laughs> <laughs> this is great, Oktoberfest! Peter, we get us! Now Sunday evening, we had a good progress here today, but now we continue tomorrow. Alex called me now and said the workshop is full of more parts from Volkswagen to me, so now I'm picking it up. Nein, das passt nichts rein. That's the roof for the caddy, I think it's too huge. Shit! Grüß Gott. Alles gefallen? Wie geht's bitte? Jetzt geht's wieder gut. Jetzt wieder gut. Now it's good again, he said. The Obstler is verraucht. Samstag was not so good, eh? Sonntag was schlecht. Sonntag was bad, he said. I believe you. So here she is, the roof panel to the Volkswagen Caddy. Surprisingly, it's actually in one piece. Normally, when they pack it like this, it's always damaged on it. 
but the question now is how to get it home. I'm actually not sure. I think we're going to deal with this when I come back from the race. Then we make a plan. I leave it here so long. I saw Stefan was sitting here. Stefan, what is loose? We get Stefan. Stefan. Stefan, come. Who get to him? Today is a good day because it's not because of the great weather for sure, but today my brother and John is coming. They're at the airport in Norvina. I'm gonna pick them up at the tracers later. That's gonna be good. So now then I'm gonna try to make as much as possible ready before the guys is coming because when they are coming, we're gonna start packing. I hope. It's time to go and pick up some more stuff and then my brother and John at the train station. Apart from being there, done picking up. And now some parts from Volkswagen is picked up, so now I go and pick up the guys. Hello, brother. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Yeah. I'm doing fine, and you guys? I'm really, really tired now. <laughs> Don't cry so much. <laughs> so, straight away, my boys have to work. Time to shop some food for the weekend. So, we are done buying all the food we need for the weekend. Not everything, but some of it. Now I go down to Hagenike, fill up tank with diesel, organizing some paper, then we go to the workshop. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a nice collection of cars we got here. Look at the last ones, the one I showed you last time. The Lambo with the number plates on. <laughs> That's crazy. Here you can see Jon is working on the car. And here you can see Stian is working out. Hey, come here, Stian. This is better. He's uh, doing about uh, 60... 30 kilometers. 30, 40 kilometers an hour. <laughs> 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 You're going too fast, my brother. Santana Kittler. That's a great machine, us. <laughs> a great machine. Yeah, this Y Sprinter is starting to get full. So now we're going to start to fill up this one too. So now the second car is starting to getting full. My brother said now when normally, like a Tetris, normally this should go down and now we get points because it's, all the three rows are full. It should be like this, you know? Or I just went over my car with this pencil and some paint. And look here now, look at the car now. You guys see my new main sponsor for the weekend? It's my old partner and for many years now, Bilok Specialist. I'm really happy to have this main sponsor for the last race for there at Monza. Like I said, Bilok Specialist has been my partner for many years. This weekend, the main sponsor. Bilok Specialist is a company in Norway that Tom Hammer is the boss there. Thank you, Tom. Um, they are selling all the equipment to paint shops. So when I do helmet painting and when I need stuff to prepare for paint and paint to my racing car, all this stuff is coming from Bilok Specialist. Great art. And the best of all, the car look really nice with the colors from Bilok Specialist and Slow. It's gonna be a good weekend. Oh, here is a trailer. Let's try to fit this one perfectly. Kolunk, there we go. The light. Yes, I did. Eh? I had some paint on my hands. Now my steering wheel is fucking full of paint. Morten, I need some brake cleaner and some paper. But before we continue now, we're gonna go and check how it goes with the food. Okay, boys, it's uh, full time, I think. Full time. Full time. Huh? <laughs> Morten, mm. happy. 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 I made uh, salad, <laughs> pasta, and fish. Happy. It's good, right? If uh, Hellström had seen this, he had been uh, very impressed. Yeah, then we um, continue. I think actually it's only thing we left is to help the car. Whoa, into this trailer. So after a lot of uh, Omo men, so is the car on the trailer. Now we're gonna check the garage one last time. Then we're gonna go and do some office work and sleep. No, you have to go and pick up stickers. Yeah, you boys have to go and pick up some stickers. That's great. Actually, we again forgot to make Bilok Specialist sticker for the front I bumper. Was, yeah, was. but that was nice, you know. I said us. But it's, yeah, actually, it's, you, actually, you. it's actually you, yeah. <laughs> but our guy here made it. We're gonna go and pick it up now. It's yes. gonna be good. It's gonna be good, Tom. 
Everything is not closed. The boys are on the way to pick up the stickers. Now I'm gonna go and say goodnight to Franz. Hey, Franzi. What are you doing? What is lost? What are you doing? I'm fucked. I go now for have a beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's late, so you can do that. <laughs> the boys are back. Hey, if anyone in Norway have a used gate, industry gate like this or higher, I'm really interested because I'm gonna have one of those at my workshop to keep all the guys outside so I can work, you know? So if anybody was watching this video have a gate like this, please contact me. We are now sitting here making a plan for tomorrow. We start here in Bielefeld at Kona Mosport down to Paderborn, Castle, then full throttle further down till we are coming to Kempton. Then we're gonna go over the mountains here. That's a really nice place actually. It's gonna be some nice views from there. Then we go to Innsbruck, over Brennepasse, down to Torento, Verona, and we are going there. There we're gonna sleep. And the next day, we're gonna do the distance over here to Monza, there. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a long drive, but good. It's now Wednesday morning. Good morning, Owen. Good morning. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good, my brother's coming there. I'm just gonna pack this small last thing, food and stuff, and then we go. Okay, boys. <laughs> you guys are ready? Huh? Ready, yes, sir. Drive safely after me then? Yeah. I'm trying. Just follow for 15 hours and we are there. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> This was the first uh, diesel stop of today and uh, it's really cold for us. It's bl blowing from uh, North Sur, I think. Ah, it's cold us. We just checked that the car was still, in, still standing where it should. Food, guys? Yeah. yeah, food and coffee. What are you doing? I won. I'm organizing more money for tires. <laughs> <laughs> but we need more. We keep going. All keep in. pushing. So the the investment for new tires went straight south, so we're not gonna have any more new tires this weekend. Actually, we're also gonna have to pee in the bushes from now on because to go to the toilet here in Germany cost, um, cost money and I don't have any more uh, cash. So everything is spent. And we actually stopped again for diesel, second time today. My brother is filling up over there. Oof. We just passed 100 euro. How many liter did you get on Morten? Oh, fy fan. 86. Yeah, you're running to the toilet, yeah. When you go to pay, when you go to pay, you run away. When I pay the diesel for two cars, I get the same feeling as when you shave your balls and put off the shave on top of that. And for you guys who don't know that feeling, or you girls, it's burning. We have fuel tank of fuel, we are pushing for a few more hours, yeah. 10 seconds to love! We are now in Austria, I just stopped to buy this Vignette. There you go my brother, one for you. Yeah, and one for me. Then we go further on. Yes, Jon, this Vignette you have to hold all the way, like that. You have to sit like that, all the way, okay? We are now driving over the mountain in Austria. I love these roads. Kilometers to Innsbruck, hello guys, I'm Pastor. We are now past the border to Italy and we are driving over the Brennero Pass. And I told my boys today, because I was never here before, to drive over this pass. It's really beautiful, a lot of mountains, a lot of nice things to look at, eh? So, they was really excited. But now I think they are really disappointed. Not much to look at there now, eh? We finally found a place to eat. The other places we tried was completely full. That's a problem here in Italy sometimes. On this road that all the fuel station with restaurants are completely full. There's no place to park. But now we're gonna have some food. This was the dinner I organized for you guys. Perfect dinner. Panini. Then we go further on. Yeah, we have now been driving for 12, 13, 14 hours or something. And we are actually just five minutes away from a hotel we're gonna sleep on tonight. And from here on tomorrow is it only one hour to the track, so this is good. That's where we're going to sleep tonight. And I'm afraid of somebody stealing my trailer, so this car is completely to the front. This one is like that. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Nobody's getting this trailer right now. I like the doors on this old one. Hello. Hello. I just need a comment. What do you guys think about the travel? <laughs> so Morten, was it a good day? 
Jo, what's the good day? Perfect day, a little bit long. A little bit long, yeah. But seriously, thanks guys for joining me on this trip. Helping me this weekend. With that, I say good night. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. See you. And for you guys who didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, do it now. Listen to you all. <laughs>